Hello everybody, Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas. Saw something real interesting on my Facebook this morning. Come from the Midland Crime Stoppers Facebook page and, and they admitted that they're withholding uh, tips and, and evidence. That's what it looks like to me. It says, when you submit a tip, Please tell us who and what you're tipping about. It will be held until you update or to close it out. Well, I've submitted several Crime Stoppers tips, and what I know is that there's required fields. If you don't fill them fields out, you can't even submit the tip, okay? And so I'm sure anybody submitted a tip thought they well, they filled out all the required fields and it was getting submitted, but, uh, you know, I think Crime Stoppers come up with some kind of excuse to withhold it and not send them to the police department. And I've suspected that's happened could specifically concerning the many crimes and murders connected with the underground homes and uh, and and tunnels here. Okay, I commented on their page, okay, and I said I've sent in several fact-filled crime stopper tips concerning the many crimes and murders believed to be connected with the now not so secret underground homes in Midland, and nothing happened. In fact, Aaron Packover told me there had been four murder deaths at my home since I was shot by somebody under my home with my phone lines cut and burglar alarms going off in the attic. Now there's proof showing that I wasn't shot with my gun, which makes this a premeditated capital tempted murder. There are also multiple people documented saying that tunnels and underground homes are here and an old Google map showing that one of them is located in my backyard. And there are over 50 other homeowners documented reporting people in the attic with more than a dozen in Midland, another dozen in Odessa. Many of these were recorded from the police scanner before they encrypted the channels. Obviously, they encrypted the police channels because they were getting caught in this organized crime. Evidence was found, which has convinced me that the previous owner of my home, Mike Lawhon, was murdered here and taken to Fort Worth the week before the 2008 old show parties were going to start in his backyard. And my friend, Angie McGee Hurley, told me about a young girl that was murdered at an old show party in October 2010 for refusing to prostitute. Angie was afraid to report this murder and said that high-level police were also at those parties. Tisha Brumley told me that the old show parties were held in the underground homes, and other people told me there were four three-bedroom underground homes said to have been put in for the bushes in 1987 with a budget on permit for $7.35 million, along with other proofs, okay? And then I put a link to Nino's video interview that we recently did there, Underground Tunnels of Midland, Texas, the Buddy Webb story. Keep in mind, that was out in the public, went to the Midland Crime Stoppers, okay? Now, I shared it over on my Facebook page, okay? And I said, I sent in Crime Stopper Kips because I learned many crimes and murders, which I felt like were ignored. I said, based on this comment, it looks like Crime Stoppers held them, which would have mean that the Midland Parks Police Department never got them. Notice that I tagged the Midland Police Department on that. <laughs> and, and so this would include many homeowners, documented report people in the attic, and the murder of the young girl at the old show party Angie told me about. One huge problem with this tip reporting system is they limit the number of characters that you can submit. And you don't get a copy of what you, what you submit like you do with email. You get a tip confirmation number. Many times I've taken screenshots before I've sent, sent in a tip. So I'll have a record of what I did. And I'm going to show you some of them that I sent in so I, so I had proof. Okay. Here's the tip number that you get. You sit in, you you talk about take all that time, write that long tip, and it goes into the black hole, and you never see it again. You know, never hear nothing. It's gone. You get that tip number. That's it. I've sent in several fact-filled Crime Stopper tips concerning the many crimes and murders believed to connect with the now not secret underground homes in Midland, and nothing happened. In fact, Aaron Packhofer told me there have been four murder deaths at my home since I was shot by somebody under my home. Now there's proof showing that I wasn't shot my gun. I, I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to show you the... the uh, here, this is a screenshot right from Crime Stoppers on a tip in 2021 that I sent them. That one that you saw there. Thank you, Crime Stopper. Thank you, you know. Thank you. We're going to hide this, you know. I, and me, I wrote local business. Aaron Packover asked me if I knew the names of four people who had been murdered, died in my home. I suspect that he counted the young girl that I was told being murdered at the 2010 old show party. Attachment. I attached the screenshot proving he said it. Google Maps historical picture shows what looks like a tunnel ditch coming from the back of Home Depot and dra aimed directly at my home. I suspect the people at the underground old show parties used this when the young girl was murdered. Attachment. 
you know, and, and uh, remember that concrete was poured there. Ricky Ronaldo told me that him and his brother used to go in the tunnels under my home when they lived here. I suspect these same tunnels were used by the people at the underground oil show parties when the young girl was murdered. Attachment. I got a screenshot of Ricky saying that. Two death notices for Mike Law and posted by the Odessa American. He is saying he died the week, uh, he, he did die the week before the 2008 oil show party started, which I believe is significant. One of them said he died in Fort Worth, another said he died at his residence, which was here in Midland. Two death or death notices. <clears throat> On July 2nd, 2019, I showed a homeland where I believe the tunnel was located for the old show parties. And two weeks later, concrete was poured. Attachment. I got that on video. Okay. Uh, Blank told me that, that his friend told him that it was dangerous to talk about the basement under the Home Depot store. Attachment. Screenshot. You can go verify it. Google Maps showing a large bunker in my backyard on the map screen. Can't be seen from above ground. I believe it's one of the four underground homes that I was told about. Attachment. Told the city about that and it got deleted from Google. Rhonda Denman Rogers told me the underground facility was a half block away. And I wondered if it was an empty lot since it had a water well and a home nearby with mortar problems like mine. That was on Westmont Court and went away. I put an attachment. That was all sent to Midland Crime Stoppers. Now I'm wondering if the police ever got it. If they had some excuse and they held it. You know, that's what it, that's what, that's what it, uh, I was guessing anyway. If something happened. Okay. I'm moving on. Teresa Kleinman was the DEA when I was shot with my phone lines cut, and then the secret police were caught on camera planting evidence. They tried to disable the camera and accidentally started it. They were they were seen covering up the home invasion and premeditated capital murder of my life. Twenty two months after I had survived this murder attempt, but then crippled for life without a job and my name smeared, I got a subpoena for a protective order that was filed by the ex wife in the DA's office. Even though I hadn't seen her talk to her in a year and a half, plus she lived in Lubbock, which is 100 miles away. Uh, on top of that, she's alleged to be involved in the murder attempt by her former boyfriend. In court, I was called delusional by the ex-wife and her lifelong friend, MPD detective Rosie Rodriguez, who, who was proven to have tampered with the evidence, falsified police report, perjured herself in court. Because I said there were people in my attic, which there were. Okay, Now there's 50 other homeowners reporting people in the attic. They tried to hide that from you. This resulted in me getting a lifetime protect order, which took away my right to own guns for life when I was the crippled survivor of a murder attempt with criminals being allowed to break into my home by the police department. Kleeman left the DA's office and now sits on the board of Crime Stoppers. This picture from 2019 shows that she was vice president of Crime Stoppers. I wondered if she was involved in squashing the fact-filled Crime Stoppers tips that I've sent in concerning the many crimes and murders connected with the now not-so-secret underground homes in Midland. Okay, I'm going to show you. that This is right from, I think, uh, Midland Reporter Telegram, January 2nd, 2019. This is Teresa Klingman, our former DA. She was the DA when I was when, during the murder time when I was shot with my phone lines cut. She's Vice President Teresa Klingman of Crime Stoppers. I'm sitting in Crime Stoppers tips, and they just seem to be going in a black hole, you know, like somebody is hiding them. I also notice the Midland Crime Stoppers officer, Margarita Strahan, is in the Crime Stoppers picture. She came to my home. I'm going to back that up. I'll show you right here. Mar Sorry, it's right here. Midland County Sheriff's Office Coordinator, Sergeant Margarita Strahan. She's also on Crime Stoppers. Okay, this is going to get interesting, okay? I said, Strahan is in the crime stuff. She came to my home one day when I was out of town. Rhonda Ainsworth White called a welfare check on me when I went to Hobbs for the day to meet my dad for lunch and go see my mom's gravesite on her birthday. It's only gone a few hours. They didn't come to my into my home because I left the blinds open and the police could see that I wasn't here. Rhonda called me after I got back and says, Why do you leave your blinds open? I hadn't talked to her since high school, so I thought that was weird. I believe she worked for Apache, and I wondered if Apache employees had been to the underground oil show party. I'm going to show you. This is the uh, the date on October 19, 2019, my mom's birthday. Rhonda White, Rhonda Ainsworth White, has it posted on Facebook in a couple hours, and it's called a welfare check in my house, and Margarita Strahan was one of them, okay? And and here's mom's birthday, and there's still unanswered questions with mom's death the month before I was shot with my phone lines cut. Okay. The Texas Rangers did an investigation in the Midland County Sheriff's Office, and and Kreiner and and five officers left. I'm gonna show you that. Rory McKinney just ran for sheriff. He was one of them that left during after that investigation. 
Margarita Strayham. She was on Crime Stoppers. That's what I'm talking about. She was the one at my house, okay? You see where I'm going? And then the last one, Apache is giving large sums of money to Midland Crime Stoppers. I want to take a screenshot of it. Buddy with Midland.